Today is Tuesday. This is just right before I leave for work. Um, Monday, I just basically had work as well, so there wasn't really much to vlog. And I have work today, and I have work tomorrow, and I have work on Friday, and then that's my last day. So anyways, that's not what I wanted to say. What I wanted to say was that I got an email from my KUBA buddy. And um, for those of you who don't know, uh, KU, Korea University, is the university I'm going to be going to for exchange. Every individual exchange student gets their own buddy. I got an email from my buddy. Her name is Hiwon, and she's one year younger than me. I'm so excited to meet her. Yesterday, I tried vlogging after I got back. In the middle of like vlogging, I suddenly started crying. Like That's why I was like, okay, I'm not uploading that one. In the past, I've always felt really excited about leaving. I wanted to kind of run away and like, you know, go to a place where no one really knows me and just live, live kind of like a new life for a while. But then I think it just hit me yesterday. Like, oh my gosh, I'm leaving for a year. Like even though a year is not too, too long, but it's still a pretty long time. I don't know, it just kind of hit me now, so I'm kind of feeling really bittersweet these days. I have to tell you guys something else too. <laughs> Yesterday, I was sleeping at, you know, 4 a.m. in the morning like like a normal person would be. And then suddenly someone messages me on Facebook, and I'm like, who is it? So now I look, and it's freaking, okay, this guy, it's, it was this guy I used to know. I met him here a year ago, I think, but then he went to he moved to Korea. He's, he's a backup dancer. Uh, for who, I won't say. I don't, I don't really want to give away his identity or whatever uh yeah he's currently training and he's gonna debut soon i think but yeah he suddenly messaged me and i was like oh he's coming back here for like two weeks before going back to korea i'm like oh, okay and he's like oh let's let's meet and i'm like um mm, that's interesting isn't it like i can't i can't wait till he debuts you made it this far good for you give yourself a pat on the back I'll give I'll give one for you. There. No, that I'm like patting myself. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Can't be weird. Bye. Time to go eat. I'm so excited. I'm always excited about eating. Yeah, there's a there's a soup coming. Oh my god, <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> that, oh, I didn't eat that one. <laughs> I'm blind. Okay. The life of an Instagrammer. I'm just. What do you mean? <laughs> Voila, look at this amazingness. No, I'm just kidding, it's such a mess. Oh my gosh, okay, so I, there's like some things packed already. Uh, some clothes in here, I don't know. And then some stuff in there already, too. And this, that one is basically almost all full already. And oh my god, look at this. My mom's like, pack light, pack light, but yeah, I I don't think I'm packing light, that's not happening. But I, on the bright side, like these past few days have been so tiring, I just, I can't. Look, only 11 days left, okay. Uh, I basically cleaned out this whole area, and then this whole closet, I cleaned that up too, everything. All the clothes in here as well, and I put it all in that room, and we bought a lock-in. It's 3 p.m. right now, it's on a Thursday. Uh, it's, no, it's a Friday, oh my gosh. I'm like so out of it right now. Later is work, it's my last day of work. I'm gonna go buy some like cookies or something for everyone and like iced coffee and stuff. Cause, cause, just cause. I feel like it's gonna be sad. After all, I've worked there for a year and uh, met some amazing people. So it's gonna be really sad. We're more like a... Uh, Instead of just co-workers, I feel like, especially after the New Year's happened, we felt more like a family now, like we're more like um, together, more like friends instead of co-workers. And you know, we organize our own hangouts, our own parties, and everyone just got really close, so that's sad. Those of you who watch dramas, let's talk about dramas. The past few weeks I've been following three dramas. First one is Harley City, second one is The Queen's Classroom, and the third one is, uh, what was it? I hear your voice. <laughs> okay, so let's just go in order. They all finished, all three dramas finished in this week, and I'm just like, are you trying to kill me? And when I finish one drama, it's like, oh, what do I do with my life now? Like, actual stuff? <laughs> like, <laughs> but, um, but all three dramas finished in the same week, within, and I'm just like, oh my god, my feels. 
Okay, so we have red velvet cupcakes so far. Ah, yeah. What else should we get? Should we get? No. Goodies. Hey, do you think donuts are like the too American much? American dream. <laughs> the American dream. Or should we get cookies? <laughs> so we are waiting until our ship starts awkwardly here. We just gave them the iced coffee and the dessert. Hello. Hello. So we finally finished work and it was a really long day. And then the kitchen, uh, some students were like, oh, is there anything you wanted to eat? So we'll make it for you. And then they were like, well, should we get something expensive since it's your last day, right? So they were like, oh, you want Tongarbi? I was like, um, and they were like, you want, you want like carbitsu or something? I'm like, um, and, and then they were like, what do you want? And I'm like, dude, why didn't you get the gabi jam? I was like, oh sume kukuba. But they were like, what? You want sume kukuba? Gabi jam is one of the cheapest. Why did you get gabi jam? That was our dream. <laughs> our dream was gabi jam. <laughs> but anyway, I'm eating now. Bye bye. <laughs> Guys, Steve, so cool. Is Steve gonna be on YouTube as well? You are too now. Me? Yes. Oh. Oh. No. Where? Oops. No, that's low. You, you take my picture without. Now you can Steve. sue her. Yeah, I'll sue her. I'll sue to your face. Yeah, I'll sue you in Korea. <laughs> Right, so that, that, that doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the point. I don't think in Korea you can sue that well about these issues. Right then, right That's now. That's a whole other topic. They talked about it. Take money. They're kissing. How can I get money from them? Last. Yeah, last task. order. Last task. Oh wait, they go away. Wasn't Yeah, you, you need to do it. Yeah, it's your last. Why? It's your last task. You have to complete it before you even mission. Before yeah, I move on? Yeah, yeah to move on. You to, have to, to where? To <laughs> where do I? Leave this all behind you. Uh. To, get, to get higher points. Hey guys, I'm finally back from work and oh my gosh, today was so busy. There were so many mess ups. There was that one point where like this customer came in. Okay, we already, keep in mind, both sides of our restaurant were already packed, okay? And there were reservations kept on coming in and random people kept on coming in. Oh my gosh, we were so understaffed, and then it was actually packed. And then, and then this reservation of 30 came in. They were like, oh, we made a reservation, uh, and it's for 30 people. Obviously, we had no seat. We barely had a seat for like two more people, like much less 30 people. So they were really mad, and then we talked to the boss, and supposed to get off at 9.30. But I ended up having to stay until 11, which was okay because, I mean, I get to spend some more time at work, I guess. I think I'm going to really, really miss not only my co-workers, but also the kitchen samchuns and emos because, like, they're always very welcoming of me. They always really, like, you know, take care of me. And um, so I bought them, like, you know, iced coffees and some, like, cupcakes and uh, cookies. And then when I bought them, they were like, Shindi ga ice coffee sawasso. At the end, when I was leaving, I was like, yes, okay, because everyone was like so crazy busy. So then it was like really hard to say goodbye for people who were leaving earlier, who had an earlier shift. So I just gave them a hug and I'm like, okay, you're coming to the party on Thursday, right? Yeah, I am. Okay, we'll see you then. And then whatever, and just gave them a hug. But then at the end, when I was leaving, you know, everything seemed fine. And then that William had to like be like, at the end, like he shook my hand. He was like, you know, it was an honor working with you and whatever. And then yeah, I just uh, got really, I got teary and good thing I walked home with Suki because if I didn't, I probably would have just cried. But um, it was really funny because they gave me that sundae kukbap for free and they were like, is there anything you want to eat, right? They were asking me and they wanted, they were expecting me to pick something expensive. They were like, okay, you can pick something expensive. And then I just ended up picking one of the cheapest items on the menu. <laughs> And then the kitchen samchuns, they were like, when do you have time next week? And I said, probably Friday. And they were like, okay, I'll treat you to lunch on Friday. You can bring some of your friends. 
and uh, we can um, go eat lunch together. So I guess I'll be able to say a better goodbye then. During my time working at that restaurant, I complained a lot. Like, I'm not going to lie. I complained a lot, you know, whether it be about customers, whether it be about, you know, sometimes uh, things happening or like misunderstandings or like people like, you know, doing stuff or not doing stuff properly or who's mean and who's not mean and who's really strict and who we were scared of and who and uh, there were a lot of times when I felt really frustrated and just like why am I even working here but you know it really is all about the people uh, I met a lot of amazing people and um everyone's just so sincere so genuine I felt like we went all went through a lot of shit <laughs> together and that really made us a lot closer we hang out and then we just complain together about stuff that happened at work and it just it's really sad that it's over now <laughs> Don't look at him, man. Don't